for watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Welcome back. Parades around Utah and fun festivities for kids, dancing, and of course, the Maypole. ABC4's Craig Worth has the old film and the newspapers. It's worth watching. Well, here it is, May again. And in yesteryear, with all the warm weather and everything, it meant it was time for the May festivities. You see, kids used to gather in the parks and schoolyards and, well, just celebrate. Dancing was a big part of the celebration of May Day and often well into the first week. Everyone did those steps that they practiced during the winter. The Colville paper of 1912 announced the May Day festivities with a flair, as did the Murray paper. It would make May Day a headline two decades later. Now, at the height of all of it, was the Maypole Dance. It was the standard of about any elementary school May party, and that was true well into the 60s. Pam Gosdis remembers the Maypole Dance as an honor given to sixth graders at the long gone Madison Elementary. The ribbons were cloth ribbons coming down from the Maypole, and you know, we had, whatever our corresponding ribbon was, we had to wear that same color outfit. The Utah Historical Society has a number of photos of Maypole dancing, all from those special days of yesteryear. These are from the 1920s at Roland Hall. We see Maypole dancing goes back much further as a favorite rite of spring. In 1872, Brigham Young and his party paused in northern Utah to watch a May Day celebration with a Maypole. Oh yes, as also celebrated in the Ogden area in 1872. And at the turn of the century, well, the Ogden paper offered tips on throwing a May Day party for the little folks. And from a 1930 Tribune, round and round the Maypole go. Some of the earliest pictures of Utah reflect the time-honored festivities. How old? Well, an 1886 newspaper announces that San Pete County will have an old-fashioned celebration, not those modern ones. And every year, it was just a lot of joy on a nice day. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Why was that fun to run around a pole? <laughs> um, because everybody had their part, you know, and you got to see the finished product. Indeed, a great way to celebrate, for it was now spring, and the celebrations were important. Important enough to be the headline of the Provo Herald in 1932, a day that featured a parade. Indeed, the Maypole dance was the highlight, but not the whole day. May Day, it was that big. Westminster College picked royalty for the day, and Roosevelt threw in horseshoe throwing, dancing, and boxing, featuring none other than Wild Bill of Salt Lake City. But of course, the Maypole, that was the center of it all. So why not bring back that memory? You know, it's a memory that I've got. So I think you'd miss the memories. I think, you know, kids these days would have a lot of fun by doing that. It's discipline, you know? I mean, learning something and following through with it. And my goodness, after this last winter, oh, it is time to dance into May. Craigworth, ABC 4 News.